Hello and welcome to a new vlog. Today I'm doing a short video on crappy rechargeable nickel metal hydride batteries. If you were following my in the mail videos, you've probably seen these green rechargeable batteries that I got from eBay quite cheap. I think these were like 50 cents a piece or maybe less. So I got four pieces in uh, AA size and four pieces in AAA size. And little did I know about how crappy these could be. I mean, judging by the price, I knew I wasn't going to get much out of these, but I was hoping for at least 500 uh, milliamps from the double A's uh, at a reasonable discharge current of, let's say, 0.5 amps. I also mentioned I wouldn't leave these uh, inside some uh, equipment that I won't be uh, using for a long period of time because uh, they could leak and uh, damage that equipment. And uh, a viewer commented on that video and said I shouldn't worry because the only thing these batteries could leak is sand. And that was the point where I decided to give these a test and uh, see how much capacity they can actually store. So first I charged these uh, batteries and left them to rest for about uh, 12 hours before testing them. Next I used these uh, electronic dummy load. And uh, if you're interested in this uh, dummy load, I will put a link in the description below. And I made myself a small four wire harness and attached these uh, magnets to the end of the wires so that I could easily connect and disconnect batteries. If you look closely, the wires are not soldered to the magnet, they're just twisted and a touch of solder was added to the wires to keep them from coming loose. If you try to solder to these magnets, you will probably change their magnetic properties and they will not stick as well afterwards. For the results to be accurate, it's important to use a four wire system for measuring these batteries. Two of the wires will be used for the main current discharge path and the other two will be used for sensing the voltage right at the battery terminals. This way, any voltage drop on the high current path due to uh, the resistance of the wire will not affect the voltage measurement which happens on the other two wires. So I started with these uh, AA batteries. I had four of them so I decided to test the capacity at four different discharge current. 1 amp, 0 0.5 amps, 0 0.25 amps and 0 0.1 amps. The cutoff voltage was set at uh, 0.9 volts. I did a quick search and noticed this is the common cutoff voltage for testing these batteries. So here are the results for the AA batteries. At 1 amp discharge I got uh, 245 milliamp hours. At 0.5 amps discharge I got 307 milliamp hours. At 0.25 amps discharge I got 297 milliamp hours and at just 0.1 amp discharge I got 287 milliamp hours. There will be small differences between these uh, cells and each test was done on a different cell but I think it's safe to say that these batteries will store between 250 and 300 milliamp hours which is way less than I was expecting. Next I continued with testing the AAA batteries. So at 1 amp discharge I got just 100 milliamp hours. At 0.5 amps I got 143 milliamp hours. At uh, 0.25 amps I got 210 milliamp hours. And at 0.1 amps I got 260 milliamp hours. Once again there will be small differences between these cells and each test was performed on a different cell but I think it's safe to say that these uh, AAA batteries will store between uh, 200 and 260 milliamp hours which is once again way less than I was expecting. So after doing these tests I have decided to stop buying these crappy batteries from eBay and I have ordered some Varta branded uh, rechargeables. You can already find test results on the internet for uh, those and they always meet the specified capacity even at higher discharge currents like 1 or 2 amps. I went and ordered the 2400 mAh version for the AA and the 1000 mAh version for the AAA. I hope you found this uh, video useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.